Final Fantasy, what is this, 16? I don't know if this is the MMO. I don't know if this is the standalone game. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I've only played 13, 13 2, and I've played 7 Remake as well as the Yuffie DLC. That's all I know from Final Fantasy. That's it. So, yeah, I saw the trailer many years ago for Final Fantasy 14, which was the MMO. From my understanding, it released. It didn't do so well. They turned it off. They redid it. <laughs> so I kind of just like, at that point. It's a mainline game. Cool. That being said, played very limited number of Final Fantasy games. From what I've seen so far, I like them. I personally like 13. I found it very entertaining. I like Lightning as a character. Uh, Resident Evil 7 Remake, despite it not being the whole story that everyone keeps telling me, I really enjoyed what I saw. I like the Yuffie DLC as well. So, so far, my experience with Final Fantasy has been positive. I will admit it did start on a rocky start because when I first put in Final Fantasy 13 disc in the PlayStation and I saw the cinematic and the fighting, I'm like, hell yeah, let's play. And then as soon as I saw it was turn-based combat, I ejected the disc and I didn't touch the game for six months. So it was a rocky start, but I'm sort of getting used to it. So, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly, but inevitably. Hmm, tyranny and turmoil. Sounds like the West. There are those who fight to take back control of their faith. Fate, not faith. Probably both. Who are we? What are the dominance? The power we wield. It wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The icon. Say what you will about Japan, they know how to make a good looking dragon. By which I mean, look at the detailing and the scales and... They know how to make dragons. Us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The icon. There's going to be another war. Isn't there? Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. That was... That was a very... That was... That was... That was very nice! I don't know if anyone caught that, but that was a very nice... Brings us closer to disaster. Wow, that was very nice swordsmanship. I don't know if anyone caught that, but I was going like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, someone did a little bit of research on that one. Just move now. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. See, people mentioned that it was probably uh, developed by some of the people that worked on Devil May Cry. I can definitely see it already from the combat. I can see it already. I can see it already. I can definitely see the DMC. I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. Ooh. If I take the field, our duel will shake the island to its foundations. The lip syncing's a bit. It is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. I mean, he makes a good point. For every Emperor that gets assassinated, another will take his place. Sure. 
did I just see Odin? All right, Norse mythology it is. I mean, you have to admit that Square Enix makes visually stunning cinematics and gameplay. I mean, that's 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 a given. That being said, there's sometimes so much happening in the cinematics that you simply get sensory overload and you don't actually know it. What the hell you're supposed to be looking at? It's just, you know, welcome to Square Enix. You know, it's like drugs without the drugs. What else? Awaken, child of fate. Awaken, if free. Mmm. Imagine if Disney actually got the copyright on things like Loki. And Odin and Ifrit and shit. I love how Disney tries to copyright claim everything they didn't come up with. You know, like all the princess stories that they steal from folklore around the world. Yeah, they tried to copyright claim uh, Loki. <laughs> you know, the deity from Norse mythology. They tried to copyright claim that. You know, the one that they didn't even come up with? That one. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, no, it's visually stunning as always. Yeah, I could definitely see the Devil May Cry in it. I mean, you saw that hack and slash and that airtime and that Nero Devil trigger arm and just smashing into the ground. You could see it. Look, I like that it's moving away from the classic turn base and into proper real time gameplay. That would always be the wall preventing me from playing certain Final Fantasy games. The fact that I do not enjoy turn-based combat. That's, that's just me being honest. Look, you can yell at me all you want. You can tell me that I'm missing out on amazing stories and all these things. I'm just being real here. I'm just being real here. The turn-based combat is kind of a negative for me. I'm just not into it. I played Pokemon, cool. But after a while, it's just like... Meh. And even when I was playing Persona, I was kind of just memeing it up because, you know, like if I was playing it by myself and it was turn-based, I'd probably get bored. The fact that I'm playing it with other people on a live stream and we're able to banter and make jokes makes sense. But like, come on, I need actual, you know, come on. <laughs> Especially after Elden Ring, there's no going back. There was another one. I think that's the one I downloaded. But anyway, look, it, it is what it is. It's stunning. It looks nice. I'm sure, well, I, <laughs> after what they did with 14 the first time around, <laughs> I, <laughs> I assume they will do their best to make it good. <laughs> do you mean the most basic turn-based combat? Look, I'll put it this way. When I bought Final Fantasy 13, I ended up that day buying three Final Fantasy games. I bought Final Fantasy 13, which was for PlayStation 2. I don't know if I can turn around and find them. Um, but, 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 see, I've got Final Fantasy 12 and Final Fantasy 10 2. And I believe I put 10 2 in the game, in the PlayStation, and it booted up. And when it was turn based, I tried to play it a little bit. And this was after I finished Final Fantasy 13, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't. It was just like, look, this is boring as shit. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I mean, the fact that there was a girl in short shorts and two guns on the front cover gave me the benefit of the doubt to put it in the PlayStation, but I just couldn't do it. Turn-based. Couldn't do it. I can play older games that have more basic mechanics, no problem. But turn-based? Ah, you know? Too many negatives. Can't do it. But if they do remasters like they did with Final Fantasy VII Remake, with good old-fashioned hack and slash and give me a little bit of fun, I'm down for a good time. But I just I just can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I, that's just the truth. Say what you will. It's just the truth. Ten is a masterpiece. Ten two ruins everything about that. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I know nothing about it. 